Hey guys, it is Friday, so here's your top five stories of the whole gaming week. And we're not gonna be talking about PewDiePie because oh, I think we have better things to talk about. So here's your PewDiePie free wrap. First up, a retailer has slipped up and sent a Nintendo Switch out to somebody two weeks early. Not great for them, but good for us. Here's what we found out. NeoGAF user Hip Hop the Robot, kudos on the username, published a video of them using their Nintendo Switch, showing the initial setup process as well as its main menu and settings. The video indicates that the system has 25.9 gigabytes of free space out of the box, and that can be expanded further with micro SDXC cards up to 2 terabytes in size. Switch officially launches worldwide on March 3. A massive Battlefield 1 update was released this week, and here's the skinny on what's new. DICE released the 2GB winter update across PS4, Xbox One, and PC on Valentine's Day. The update sees the return of ribbons, as well as a jump in the maximum class rank from 10 to 50. You will now earn battle packs for every 10 class ranks you gain, as well as some extra flair when you hit rank 50. Elite codices have been added for the 8 primary weapons that are unlocked by obtaining 500 more kills per applicable weapon. For your efforts, you will receive a shiny new codex and 25,000 XP. So get out there and start mowing down foes. Server improvements include the ability for RSP admins to kick players from their servers from the in-game UI, as well as being able to ban problematic players. Players can also vote for the next map after a match is over. There have also been a bunch of improvements to vehicles, UI, maps, weapons, spectating custom game modes, gameplay controls, and netcode. For all the intricate details, check out our full story on GameSpot. This week, Nintendo revealed that The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will have a DLC pass, and here's what's coming with that. The $20 expansion pass kicks off by offering you an instant bonus when the game launches on March 3. Three treasure chests will materialize in the Great Plateau, which contain useful items, as well as an exclusive immersion-breaking shirt featuring a Nintendo Switch logo that you can put on Link. The first DLC pack arrives this summer and consists of the Cave of Trials, a hard mode, and an additional map feature. The second DLC pack, which will release in this year's holiday season, includes a new original story and a new dungeon. The DLC packs won't be sold separately, but they will arrive for both Wii U and Switch. Strap in for the most exciting news since Activision said that there's going to be another Call of Duty game this year. Another Pokemon Go update has arrived. The latest update brings with it quality of life changes, including letting you access your different Pokeballs and berries from the encounter screen. No more digging through the items list to get to the things you need. There's also new music for you to enjoy during encounters at night. Another small change shows you a silhouette of the creature you'll obtain if you opt to evolve the one you have. The update adds over 80 additional Pokemon from the Gold and Silver games, and gender-specific variations of select Pokemon can be caught. Niantic have also said trading and player versus player battles are on the way soon. Finally, in devastating news, the thimble is no longer a Monopoly piece. My personal favourite piece, after the dog, obviously, didn't make the cut on a fan vote that took place over the last month. Hasbro invited fans to vote on the eight pieces that should be included in future Monopoly editions, and as a result, the most fun piece to hold because of all the dimple bits has been voted off the board. It's the weakest link. It did not receive a rose. It will have to leave the mansion. Hasbro said, despite being an integral part of day-to-day -day life when the token was originally added to the game in 1935, the lucky thimble has lost its shine with today's fans and will be retired from the game. Hasbro will be revealing the results of the fan vote on World Monopoly Day on March 19. At least the dog will probably still be in it. This week on Psyched, we take a look at the first 12 minutes of Prey, explore some of the most bizarre dating sims out there, and review Sniper Elite 4. That is it from me this week. Be sure to have yourselves a lovely weekend. Give us a like on YouTube if you like, because we like you. And I will see you again on Monday.